Hey guys and welcome back to my channel. Can you guys believe it is already that time again? It's time for school. So I wanted to show you guys their backpacks, their lunch boxes, and all of the stuff that I'm going to be using this year for their lunches. A lot of it is new or actually some of it is new and a lot of it is old and some of it I didn't even get to use last year. So let's get started. Okay, so let's first start with the new lunchbox. This is Sophia's new lunchbox. Let me bring it on over here. We are going to be using the same basic lunchbox as last year. She got this at Justice, I believe. Yes, Justice. And it is a kitty cat. She wanted to go with the kitty cat theme. It has little kitty cat ears and an S on it. So that way she knows it is hers. But we're also going to put her name somewhere on, on this. So that way she has it. Um, but yeah, so that is what her lunchbox looks like. Also to go with the kitty theme, this is her backpack. She has cute little ears. It's nice and fuzzy. If you guys remember, she had last year a rainbow one. I think it was a unicorn, um, but she wanted to go with the kitties. So here is the cute nose and the whiskers. She has a pocket here and a pocket up on top. And she has one of these unicorns for her hand sanitizer. And then I'm also going to, with her lunchbox, give her a hand sanitizer so that way she uses that before she eats her lunch every day. So there is her lunch box and backpack. And then here is Allison's backpack. She decided to go with the Vans checkered and also some, uh, what are these called? Sunflowers. She got this at Tilly's and she also got the, the lunch box at Tilly's. And this year hers is going to be a little bit different because this lunchbox stands up so it's not wide at the bottom so I'm not going to be able to use the containers that I normally use for her so I had to go out and buy new ones for her that stack so I will show you that so the lunch boxes that I decided to go with for Allison are these cubed lunch boxes um, they are very cute I like them a lot and at first I was like how in the world are you going to get the, everything in there but this is how it all works so let me close it up for you. Oops. Okay, so it's closed up. You're going to open it. There's two compartments here for your, uh, you know, whatever you want, but I'm thinking um, fruits and vegetables. And then this clips, and when you open this up, you lay it flat, and you could put her sandwich, spaghetti, anything like that you that you want in there. And then it just clips shut, so it completely closes. And then you close it again. And there you have it. So I did end up buying three of those for her and I just checked and it does fit in here perfectly. So we will not have any mess or anything like that. These are not leak proof, I don't believe. Um, I wouldn't trust them if they were because <laughs> just by the design, they don't look leak proof. So if she wants anything with liquids. We're just going to have to go with the old style lunch boxes that I have that I will show you now. So if you guys have been watching my videos for a while, you guys know that I used these last year. I had a friend put their name and a cute little sticker on these so that way we knew who they were, who they belonged to, I should say. And these are from Bentology. I really love these. They're nice and um, sturdy. They work great. They hold up well. I really enjoy ha enjoyed having these. They have four different compartments inside, which I will show you in just one second. And in Sophia's lunchbox, they fit perfectly. They, I mean, they're just a perfect fit. So let me go ahead and show you the inside just in case you've never seen these before. There's just a little clip on the outside that you open up. And you can put your fork and nap napkin in here if you would like to. And then there's four different departments with lids for either a sandwich or you know pasta anything that you want to put in there and then you have your vegetables and your fruit or your little snack tray so i really enjoy these but like i said allison's lunchbox stands up now so i can still use these but i'm gonna have to just stack them in her lunchbox like this and then not use this outer container which is fine she'll be she'll be able to deal with that so that is bentology and then last year, I also received this stainless steel box. Um, 
it is a smaller on the smaller side but it's really cute to put like little things here and there and just have like a variety pack if you guys want um this does have a silicone lid that goes over it perfectly but it is not leak proof so definitely don't put anything liquid in here um and i think this would work out perfect for allison's lunchbox too because i can just pack her other stuff in um, plastic containers or uh, plastic wrap or anything like that and then that way she has that to use so this is just a cute little box and is from Valin, Vanley, Vanleys. That's what it is, Vanleys. And of course, you guys should be very familiar with this Bentgo Kids. I did buy two of them, I think it was last year, and used them on Sophia. I absolutely love these for the younger kids. Obviously, Allison's in uh, eighth grade. She was in seventh grade last year. She did not want to use these. These are too babyish for her, is what she says. So I definitely use this all the time for Al uh, Sophia, and I absolutely love them. There's two clips in the front. These are leak-proof, which is really nice. The, they do seal right here, so that way if you do have anything liquid in one compartment, it will not transfer over to the other compartments, which is really super nice. So usually I put their pasta or their um, sandwich, things like that in here. It does not... Um, have room for a whole sandwich so I just cut it in half or I cut it in squares or we just make something fun over here and then of course she has uh four other or three other compartments no four other compartments um I usually put you know sauce dip um a little snack treat in here and then her fruits vegetables and whatever else we use so that is what I have for Sophia this year and last but not least, I have these containers here. These are thermoses. Um, this is a thermos for hot or cold food. If you want to put pasta in here or if you want to make chicken nuggets or something like that, I always put food in here, SpaghettiOs, things like that, um, if they want something hot for, you know, those cold days. So that is perfect for their lunches as well. Okay, now for all the sauces, condiments, things like that that we're going to be using, I always use these um, little to-go cups. These are so cute and you can reuse them all the time and they're perfect, they're leak proof. Um, and then for like their salad dressings and things like that, I like to put them in here. Sometimes you really have to push on the top, but they don't always stay. But I did buy some more of these. I bought these at Walmart for $1.50. I bought a four pack of these at Target, I believe for $4.99. So those are just a little bit more expensive, but they're super cute and they work very well. Now for the water bottle, uh, Sophia loved her water bottle last year because it locks up and I really loved it as well because it did not leak all over her stuff. So I went ahead and bought her a new one. I bought this at Target. And by the way, guys, I will try to leave everything in the uh, link, everything down below for you guys. So that way, if you want something, you can just click on the link and go get it. I'm going to try my hardest to do that. <laughs> um, but anyways, this little gadget, 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 whatever, locks right here. You push this button and it opens right up so she can drink out of it. Super easy to clean. I haven't had a problem with these at all. Lock it up right there and then you press this or push this over and she can't open it at all. So that way it doesn't, it prevents them from accidentally opening it. Oops, let me unlock it real quick. Okay, it prevents them from accidentally pushing this button and everything leaking out. So I really, really enjoy that. Um, it's see-through pretty much. And then it has this little hook on the back so she can either hold it like this or hook it to her backpack. So if you guys want one of those, I did buy it at Target, like I said, and this is the name of it. It is leak proof, lid lock, lock lid. And I will leave that link down below. Okay, another important thing for kids' lunches, and this is going to be mainly for Sophia because Allison, once again, doesn't want baby lunches. <laughs> um, I have these silicone cupcake liners. These are great for if you have one big compartment like Allie has, you can just set them side by side and add two different things in there if you would like to. So I have the round ones. I also have star ones, mini round ones, mini hearts, and mini um, roses. So these are super cute. I did get most of these in a kit that I will leave 
in the link down below as well, but you can buy these at Michael's too. Okay, over here in this basket, I have a ton of pasta. I only used a little bit of the pasta last year. These are good until 2020, so I have plenty of time to use them. I have the puzzle pasta, which I'm going to be using. Um, this is just super cute pasta for the kids. It gives them something new to play or to look at while they're eating. Naughty or nice pasta. This is Santa and gifts. I also have happy birthday pasta, some gobble it up pasta this is thanksgiving and abc's one two threes which i used last year on their first day of school lunches um, i also have a ton of napkins napkins for birthday napkins just because i also have um unicorns valentine's day uh, what else football uh, mickey mouse when i do themed lunches cupcake um, halloween christmas new year's thanksgiving all of that stuff so i just have all of these and i also have some plastic forks in here for when they need forks it's so much easier just to give them a plastic fork to sometimes they could just throw it away and they're done with it i also have some decorations here for my videos and some lighting for my videos as well and then in this container, I have a little bit of everything. I forgot to use these last year, so I'm going to have to use these. These are cookie cutters, but I'm going to make them into sandwich cutters. And Bella Boo's lunches, if you guys don't watch her, you must go watch her. She gave me a great tip last year to take your edible markers and just outline all of the stuff on here. And then when you go to stamp the bread, it will show the face and the eyebrows and the mouth and the M on your sandwich. I thought that was brilliant. Good job, Bella Boo's lunches. <laughs> and if you guys go over there and subscribe to her, make sure you tell her cute little cupcakes mom sent you and gave you a great tip on how to get your sandwiches to look super cute. So I have the blue M&M, the yellow, the cute green, and I thought I had one more, yep, the red the cute red m and so I'm definitely going to be using those this year. I also have, these are mold makers. This is either you can put a boiled, a hard boiled egg in there right when it's hot and it turns into like an Easter bunny, or you can put uh, rice, sticky rice in here and it will make the shape as well. So I thought these were super cute. This did come in a kit that I will leave in a link down below, but I have a rabbit, a car, and a little fishy. These are basically the same thing, not for the egg mold, but for like either you can use it on um, a sandwich or you can mold some sticky rice with that. So I have an elephant and a fish there, and this is the same thing. This one's just really, really big. Um, it's a dolphin. Also in here, I have this cute little sandwich maker. I've been using this forever. Um, it makes like an uncrustable sandwich. And then I have some leftover candy from last year. I did a themed lunch of Legos. I will link it up in the iCard above so you guys could check that out because we went to Legoland for Sophia's birthday. Um, so I have that. And then I also have, you know, some of these cute little cupcake liners for the lunches. Um, I also have a cute little bear here, some little eyeballs, some mouth, um, just all kinds of stuff that you can use for like school. Um, I have this cute little jar. I have no idea why. I have stickers here. I mainly keep my um, holiday stuff in here. So I have, you know, like the hearts. I have more lights here. Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, and Halloween, and then birthday. So most of these are just decorations for the holidays because I have this to show you. Okay, and now this is the Mac Daddy of them all. These are all of my supplies for decorating our lunches with. I wish this was my idea, but it was not. This was Bella Boo's Lunches, Amy from Bella Boo's Lunches idea again. She went on Amazon and bought this um, for all of her stuff, but she has a massive one. You guys will have to go and ask her to show you guys hers. I think it's two times bigger, maybe even three times bigger than this one. She has so much 
stuff in hers. It's amazing. I love it. So when she was showing that, I don't know if she showed it on a video. Yes, she actually did show it on a video. I'm like, oh, I, I'm stealing your idea. She's like, okay, okay, no problem. So anyways, so yeah, I have everything labeled here. I have the eyeballs, more eyeballs. I also have leaves. And then I have zoo animals, sea animals. And most of this stuff I actually got from her as well because she has this big, huge store that sells these things by the piece. And I was like, can you pick me up some? And she was so sweet and she got me some and I offered to pay her and she refused to take my money. Go figure. So anyways, um, she did, like I said, bought me a ton of these and sent them to me. It was just so nice of her. So I got farm animals. I also have these cute little containers that I bought off of, I think Amazon or somewhere. Um, but these are little sauce packs because Sophia loves soy sauce with her white rice. So I thought these would be perfect. You put soy sauce in it and then she can just dab it on her rice. Oops. And then I also have like these music notes and stuff. These I got from Target last year. I also have not too many Valentine. I need to stock up more on those. Some fun Christmas stuff. Got a couple of jar uh, things of Easter flowers, birthday for when it's Sophia's birthday. I love these. I got these from Bella Boo's lunches too, from Amy too. And these are super cute. So I got those. Oops. I also got some Halloween. Anyway, so Disney, all kinds of stuff. So you guys will be seeing that hopefully in my lunch. My goal this year is to make sure I start using these. They're used. I mean, I can use them. They're here. I might as well use them. But I also have a few little odd and end things here, too, that we got for Easter. Um, these little scoopers that I've had. This goes on top of a um, one of those juice jars. And then for Legos, Legoland, I picked these up at the Dollar Tree. And then these are also more sauce uh, containers and this I'm going to be using this year. I went out and bought a whole bunch of panda stuff, which I have in another area because I was going to do that the last couple days of school. I was going to do a panda theme, but I completely forgot and I got lazy and the things just got busy. So I didn't do it. So I'm going to do a panda, uh, lunch for you guys, but this is a panda face stamper. So I thought that was super cute. So I'm going to be using that this year as well. So anyways, that is everything that I'm going to be using this year, this year for school lunches for Sophia mostly. And then you guys seen all of Allison's stuff as well. So thank you guys so much for watching. I'm sorry this was such a long video. I enjoy watching these videos. So I was hoping you guys do too. If you did give it a thumbs up, subscribe. And I can't wait to show you guys our very first week of lunches. Bye guys.